Hi, my name is Frank Schaefer, and I have been watching this election with great interest. You know, as I write about in my book, Why I Am an Atheist Who Believes in God, I come out of a religious right background, and in the 70s and 80s was very involved with the Republican Party, and I knew everyone personally. The Bush family, Ronald Reagan, who called my family when my father died in 1984 to offer his personal condolences and all the rest of that. And I left the religious right and I left the Republican Party some 30 years ago as it turned into a party of reaction and xenophobia and hate and all the rest of it. And we had been very involved in parts of the Republican Party that were truly misogynistic, trying to take away the right to choose from women. All this business that was anti-feminist about women being in the home and traditional roles and so forth. So I've been there and done that. Mea culpa. Worst thing that ever happened to me. I was young, that's no excuse. But at least it's given me an understanding that we can change and we can go on a path that is better. And today I want to talk about Hillary Clinton and why I support her. I'm not talking about the Hillary Clinton versus Bernie Sanders. I'm talking about the reality that she is going to be the Democratic candidate. There's a horrible thing going on right now in the media, and that's this kind of moral equivalence between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Oh yes, Trump has problems, and he speaks this, and he's racist and all that. Oh, but Hillary had the email problem, and she's being investigated, and all these other stories about her. And worse still, here's things that Bill Clinton did that she's being blamed for, and so forth and so on. And I just want to tell you, as someone who was on the misogynistic wrong side of history as a young man in a movement that I now regret bitterly, and I'm so angry with myself that I contributed to it through the film series we made and all the rest of it, <clears throat> the very least we can do is admit the fact that first of all it's a tremendous achievement to have a woman running for president. Secondly, that Hillary has tremendous experience and prepared hardly covers it. And third, she is a quick learner. And I want to be very bold here and predict something. Hillary Clinton will win. Not only will she win, we're going to have a majority at least in one House of Congress for the Democrats as a result. And not only that, in the eight years she is president, talk about being bold and crazy, making predictions, in the eight years she is president, she is going to prove herself to be one of the great leaders of Western culture. Because she is a quick learner, she has her eye on history, and the last thing we should care about is whether we like her personally or like her family or are into Bill Clinton or think that they've run their foundation right. That's not the point. Her character as a strong female leader, who by the way makes Donald Trump look like a wimp. I mean, all he does is blah, 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 brag. I mean, any man who's a man is going to dislike this guy just on the basis that, you know, you won't want him anywhere near your family. Just put it that way. Hillary Clinton is the real deal. And we have an opportunity here to not only make history and to go from an African-American president who's been our best president in the last 50 years to a woman president who isn't in there as a token female breaking a glass ceiling but is a person of tremendous substance and judgment. And the last thing we should care about is all this tabloid press bullshit about what Bill did or didn't do, or what you know she did with her emails or didn't do. This is all crap. And it's misogynistic crap on top of it. It's a dirty put down by people who are just uncomfortable with having a woman in a high office. So let's get past this and get behind Hillary Clinton, because this isn't just any election. I wouldn't have even said this about Richard Nixon, for instance, who made horrible mistakes, or anyone else. This is an election between good and evil. Donald Trump is an evil man. He's a wicked man. He's a fascist, he's a racist, he's a bigot, and he's a fool. And if that's who you want for your president, well, you're welcome to him. But I'm going to fight for Hillary Clinton and I hope you will too. My name is Frank Schaefer.